Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video, I'm just gonna do a run through of my favorite brand of sticky notes. So I love using sticky notes if I'm not sure what my plans are gonna be in my planner to reposition them. And I've also taken to using them for blog planning. Um, I'll do another video on how I'm using them for that um, later on. So these are the main sticky notes that I use. I'm just gonna do a quick um, go through of each of them. So my favorites are the Post-It Super Sticky world of color so what i love about poster is they come in so many different colors it's really good for color coding so i'm a bit obsessed with color coded planning and these are my four colors the orange pink green and blue this one's more of like a turquoisey color but it's really pretty so i just use that as my blue um, and then i have different colors for each thing so like um, when i blog about planners i do a post and then i write that in pink and put that in my planner if i'm blogging about online business it's green if i'm doing graphic design it's blue if I'm doing a blog about a product, then I do orange. So this video would get an orange one because it's a product review. Um, so that's just my color coding system. The great thing about sticky notes is that they usually come in these main colors. They usually come in yellow, blue, green, pink, and orange. They're the main colors that you can find. Um, I did manage to find some purple ones as well, but they're not very common. So I wouldn't recommend using purple if you want to do color coded organization. Okay, so yeah, my favorite ones were the post-it notes super sticky because then I can just lift them up and move them around multiple times in my planner. So, you know, if I decide actually I don't want to post about that this week or I haven't done that post yet, I can just move it to the next week. So I really love the flexibility of the post-it notes of being able to reposition them. Um, these ones are quite expensive though. They came in a pack of eight and I think they're about uh, $16 or $18 or something from Officeworks so they are a bit pricey but you do get heaps of them you get like 720 sticky notes I mean that's gonna last me like a couple of years of blog planning that'll um, keep me going for a while then I'm excited to try these ones which is also that world of color collection and this one was the Miami if you look at the little um, names on them so this one's the Miami and Miami and this one is the Cape Town so you can match them up um, with the 1.5 by 2 inch which is these mini ones versus the 2 by 2 inch square which is these ones so they've got the best range for um, different colors if you do want to color coordinate I recommend the post-it brand so these ones are a nicer size they're a lot smaller so these ones would fit in the sidebar of your Erin Condren or most planners because they're 1.5 inches wide you could write and then stick them in like that and just have the sticky part on the left another thing that I want to try is stamping onto sticky notes getting some of those um, pretty planner stamps you see like ones with checklists and just stamp it on and then I can put that in my sidebar so I want to give that a go the other one that I found was J Burroughs so I live in Australia and Officeworks has a really good range of sticky notes which is where I got most of these from um, and J Burroughs is a new brand that I want to try I liked these ones because they came in better colors this one was supposed to be an orange um, in the pack so it was supposed to have pink green blue and orange sticking with my um, color coordinated uh, scheme for color coding but it turned out being more of like a pink and then just a more hot pink so I might not end up using those and I may end up using these ones because they've got my colors that I like um, and maybe just use the blue from that one to keep it with my matching colors um, my favorite in terms of stickiness is this brand called Aspire so it's actually one that you'll probably find in your workplace you have to buy it in bulk so I think it comes in like a pack of like 20 or something of these and there's like 100 or 200 of these little things so if you want a lot of sticky notes then these ones are the ones to go with because they are really cheap when you buy in bulk it was only like three bucks for a pack of bulk pack of like 20 and these are super sticky like I stick them down and reposition them at least like 10 times and they're still as sticky as when I first stuck them down and these ones are also cute in the mini size it's really hard to find the mini size the 1.5 by 2 inches um, so if you do want the mini size go with Aspire or those um, Posted or J Burrows. Okay, so then the next ones I found, these ones were a bit fun. I found them in Woolworths and I thought they were quite cute, quite pretty um, with the border box around it. And I really wanted them basically for these ones where they go, oh my God, urgent sign, lol, heart this, buy it, check it out and gotta have it. So I thought these would be really good when I'm going through um, recipe books or my own recipe binder and I'm trying to pick what recipes to make then I might use some of these or if I'm online shopping or flicking through a magazine so I thought those were a bit of fun they're only like two bucks so they're just the generic um, Woolies brand so I think you can only find them in Woolies um, but I'm not sure if they stock them regularly I just happened to come across them one day when I was stalking the stationery aisle as you do um, and I thought they're really cute so the next ones are the Keji brand now these ones are really cheap I got these from Officeworks so these are the large size 
um i want to use these for like a grocery list within my planner and then i can just reposition it and move it around and when i need to go to the grocery shop then i can just pull it out of my planner and go um i was using this size but i found it was a bit too small i wanted the larger size so what i'm going to try and do is print onto sticky notes i'll try and do another video on that and see how it goes um so then i don't have to keep like writing a little drawing a little checkbox and a line I can just print it straight onto it and pop it in my planner because I tend to write crooked um, so that's what I want to use those ones for these ones are only 250 for a pack of hundreds so I thought that was really cheap and then this is the three by three inch so your standard sticky note size I actually find these ones are quite large to use within my planner I typically use them for memos or like reminders like I might stick it to my bathroom mirror or um, on the back of the door on the way out of my front door like take out the trash or something um, these ones are not super sticky so they're only 99 cents for a, um, about 200 I think is in this stack and they are not super sticky so they're really good for like a, maybe a one-time use or just a random reminder but if you've got like a reminder that you're going to need all the time that you want to keep reusing <clears throat> excuse me then I recommend going with the um, post-it super sticky they do come in this size as well but again they're quite expensive but if you're going to be um, re-sticking them more well, then it's better value than going through like a hundred of these. These ones are some of my all-time favorite, the page markers. So I've done a fair few DIY um, page markers. So I've got like an Excel template that I use. I've also done um, the other, there's more sticky notes that you can use as well. Um, but these ones are like specifically designed to be a page marker, or like a tab. So they come in two different color schemes. There's like, this is the warm colors or there's the cool colors which has like blue and green but I didn't get that pack because it comes with like black and you can't really write on black so I wanted one where I could use all of the colors because um, they were a little pricey they were like 550 but you do get quite a few you get 240 of them so I mean if you're using them for a while that's good value and they are really sticky like this whole thing just this little tab here is the only part that's not sticky just that little bit there all of this thing here all of this part here is sticky they're really sticky and I use these mainly for um, like within my planner I wouldn't recommend them for say a um, something that's going to have frequent use that you're always flicking because they may get a bit damaged up the top you might want to laminate them in that case but they're really good for um, something I guess temporary or if that you don't refer to often I might use these in my recipe binder so that's those ones and then these ones are both of these are from Kmart so they were really cheap I hummed and hummed and I thought, should I pay two bucks? There was like 400 or something sheets and I was like, screw it, I'm going to get it because it's really cheap. Um, and I was surprised because I thought they would not be sticky at all. I thought they'd be like this one where they'd be okay for like a temporary use. But these ones are actually really sticky. And they are the Noteworks, um, oh no, that was the other one. These ones are the, I think it's Office One is Kmart's like own brand. And these are actually really sticky. So that was um, quite impressive. But the one thing is they come in this stack of multicolor, which is great and all, but one of my colors is green, right? So there's not many green in this pack. So like I've already pretty much used up those. So I may have to mix it up and mix and match it with um, the post-it super sticky ones. So they are actually more sticky than I thought. Two bucks, can't go wrong, I'll get them. These ones, um, sorry, I told you the wrong thing before. They're not from Kmart, they're from the Reject Shop and they're the Reject Shop's Noteworks brand. So each of these discount shops tend to have their own like brand and Noteworks is one of um, the reject shops so this one was two dollars again and you get um, 400 sticky note sheets so I thought that was good value I really do not like this coral color I hate coral it's such a gross color I think it was supposed to be orange but it kind of yeah turned out coral I do like the purple though which I wanted for something else so my colors like I said before were like blog business printables graphic design and I wanted to add purple as like my behind the scenes stuff so Things like, oh, don't forget to, um, you know, post on Pinterest or something that is kind of like just for my own reference behind the scenes of my Etsy shop and blog. So that's what I'm going to use the purple ones for. And as always, you get pink, green, and blue. It would have been really great if this was, sorry, pink, yellow, and blue. It would have been really great if this was green. It would have been like the perfect color coordination. So that is the Noteworks brand. So that's basically it. That's all my favorite um, sticky note brands. So sticky notes can be super expensive. Um, some of my favorite places to find them are Officeworks. You could always try eBay, um, online shops, and then your discount department stores. And I've also, because I use these so frequently, I've also convinced my sister to um, stock them in her shop, which is carefully crafted by Jo. So if you do need some sticky notes, she should have them up in her shop soon. And then um, they will be cheaper than Officeworks because they can get real pricey. 
So it was J. Burroughs, Aspire, um, Noteworks. These ones were Office One, Kedgy, Woolworths brand, J. Burroughs, um, and Post-It. So I hope you found this review helpful and that's basically how I use sticky notes. If you have any other ideas for using sticky notes, please let me know. They are some of my favorite planning tools and I'm always on the lookout for new ways to use them. So please let me know in the comments below if you have any creative ways that you use sticky notes.